The Naval Officers Wives Association NOAA came into being on the 30th of November 1965 under the leadership of Mrs. Anne Wei, wife of the first Indigenous Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Joseph Edith Akinwale Wei of Blessed Memory. It started as a small tea group for light-hearted discussions by wives of naval officers to kill boredom because of the regular absence of their husbands to sea and also as a forum of rendering assistance to wives of naval ratings in and out of the barracks. Nowhere has provided the opportunity for social interaction which facilitated the promotion of love, harmony and cooperation among naval officers' wives and their families. These noble principles have guided the activities of the association with various degrees of emphasis. In the last four decades, NOAA has recorded a number of achievements in its efforts to complement the efforts of the Nigerian Navy in welfare-related projects in the barracks. These are in the areas of education, charitable ventures, economic empowerment, health and social services as well as sporting activities. The aims and objectives of the association are as follows. To promote the upkeep of the home and environment. To be a charitable organization, to promote the welfare of the needy, motherless children, handicapped and disabled people, the poor and the aged. To promote goodwill, harmony and cooperation among the naval wives and their families. To seek the educational and literary development of the society, the association shall establish schools, daycare centers, nurseries and other facilities that enhance the standard of life of the naval personnel and their families. The incumbent head of the association, Barrister Mrs. Teresa Ibas, assumed leadership of NOAA on July 13, 2015 as the 20th president. Since assumption of office, she has demonstrated a strong determination to reposition the association thereby lifting it to greater heights. Accordingly, in the last three years, four months, NOAA, under her leadership, has touched the lives of many people in one way or another through her care, benevolence and sense of human feeling. Some of these achievements are the renovation of NOAA National Secretariat Abuja, the construction of new hostel and furnishing at NOAA Secondary School of Aquara State, Recruitment of qualified teaching and non-teaching staff in NOAA schools. Renovation of NOAA Educational Center, Karishi, Nasarawa State. Purchase of new 32-seater coaster bus and Toyota Hilux for NOAA Abuja. Organizing and empowerment of Narawa members with skill acquisition training programs and equipment at the Nigerian Navy Barracks, Kuje, Abuja. Purchase of Toyota Hires bus for Narawa Abuja Chapter. Commissioning of NOAA Secretariat Atibo Kalaba. Commissioning of three bedroom bungalow, 10 by one bedroom blocks of staff quarters, and a block of 10 classrooms at NOAA Educational Center Kareshi Nasarawa State. Newly commissioned biology, chemistry, and digital language laboratories at NOAA Educational Center Kareshi Nasarawa State. Completion and furnishing of NOAA Skill Acquisition Center Navy Town Ojo. Construction of 13 mini shopping mall at 2nd Avenue, Navy Town, Ojo, Lagos. Purchase of school bus for NOAA Daycare, Nursery and Primary School, Karashi. Construction of borehole and overhead tank at NOAA Educational Center, Karashi, Nasarawa State. Empowerment of widows and care for orphans during NOAA program, A Day Out with Widows and Orphans in Lagos. Sponsorship of 100 Nigeria Navy widows to an empowerment program organized by the wife of the Vice President Tag, Project Ayo Daily. Commissioning of a block of five classrooms at NOAA Daycare, Nursery and Primary School, Moby Road, Papa, Lagos. Construction of two bedrooms, commandant accommodation and ten units of one bedroom staff quarters at NOAA Secondary School of Aquara State. Purchase of school buses for pupils and students of NOAA schools. Total overhauling of 1 by 30 kVA generator at NOAA Educational Center, Karishi. Purchase of customized uniform for NOAA schools. Purchase of textbooks and notebooks for NOAA schools. First and third positions in Nasarawa State won by Ms. Vanessa Ibo, 
and Esther Ajani, respectively, at the 2016 Cowbell Pedia Mathematics Competition. NOAA Primary School Karishi emerged as best school in Nasrawa State. Partnership with New Horizon Nigeria Limited to provide ICT certified courses for NOAA schools. Renovation of NOAA Guesthouse Abuja. Furnishing of NOAA Secondary School Ojo Biology Laboratory. Purchase of computers for NOAA Secondary School Ojo Lagos. Purchase of 15 sets of computers for NOAA Daycare Nursery and Primary School Ojo Lagos. Donation of delivery bed, two baby cots, and bed sheets at Nigerian Navy Reference Hospital Calabar. Release of nine inmates and payment of wire registration fees for 15 inmates of Kujie Prison. Visit to IDPs at Christian Center Camp, Ikuaga, Edo State. Visit to Rako Commission Motherless Babies Home, Lagos. Poor President, NOAA President, and SVC's Chief's Wives visit IDP Camp in Meduguri. NOAA National President unveiled the foundation plaque for the proposed NOAA Shopping Mall at Headquarters Logistic Command, Ogara, in Delta State. Her feat as the president thus far is not unconnected with her earlier humanitarian services before she took over office of leadership. She had founded the Divine Mercy Foundation, a non-governmental organization which has been touching lives and putting smiles on faces of less privileged members of the society. You must persist in order to succeed with assistance from a few orders who have been favored, not because they have too much, but because they believe in sharing the little they have. This is one of the core values that led to the creation of a Divine Mercy Foundation in 2015 by the founder, barrister, Mrs. Teresa Ibok Ete Ibaz. Most times, people are out there suffering and people others don't know that indeed people are suffering because maybe they have been privileged to have uh, what to eat and shelter and all that it takes to earn a living. But uh, I sit down and always think of the other person and move out, mostly where I find myself in the military. I see that the uh, wars and the terrorist problems we are facing in the country are rendering homes without their daddies or their breadwinners to be there for them to carry on. So that's why I thought once in a while, wherever I find myself, I should just think of who is in that environment that needs help. Since 2015, even as a non-profitable foundation and the challenges that follows, the foundation with lean resources has trained youth in skills acquisition and powered the less privileged in the society, offer free professional medical services for the aged, visit to orphanage homes, home of the poor and the needy to offer relief materials 
as well as food staff. In 2017, over 100 youths, both male and female, from Unko community in Yako local government area, were sponsored for different skills acquisition. After completion of the training, beneficiaries were given startup kits in line with their training, such as sewing machines, weaving machines, generators, hair dryers, clippers, welding machines, including financial takeoff grants. With this intervention, hunger would be drastically reduced and the youths would be able to start their own businesses. The elderly would be more comfortable and feel loved. It's not about how much you bring or how what you bring. Sometimes even a visit to them and, you know, chatting with them brings back life and hope. So we are happy to receive you and we pray you come again because we are like Oliver Twist. <laughs> These and many more are the vision of Divine Mercy Foundation. It can only get better with your support. Partner with us today.